In this video, we're going to combine several effects and motion paths into one cool effect. Okay, so let's get started here. Uh, the idea that, uh, that was given to me here was uh, from a friend of mine, Tracy, who was asking for the ability to create uh, a simulation of a person who's, I guess, close up, a character who's close to the the view of the user, the point of view of the, uh, the the user, and they're walking away towards the horizon. And uh, you wanted to be able to combine uh, a motion path, so they're walking from, let's say, right to left or from left to right, and uh, we're shrinking them in size at the same time to create the illusion that they're walking away from the point of view of the of the learners who are looking at your Adobe Captivate project, but also maybe moving a bit to the left or right. So I came up with a slightly different take on this. I don't want to steal uh, Tracy's thunder, and I'm going to do a Star Wars themed version of the same effect. So I started off with a star screen here, very simple to do. Um, in this case here, I've set up the background image, um, just 100% uh, height, 100% width, uh, simply because, of course, uh, simply because, of course, uh, the uh, star field is pretty nondescript, so it'll look good at all the different uh, uh, aspect ratios that I have with the different uh, uh, responsive design breakpoints. Uh, but this could be done with a standard project as well. So I'm going to add an object to this screen, and I think you'll probably recognize it. Um, it's a Star Wars TIE Fighter. And let's just uh, fit that to stage so it becomes uh, obvious what it is and so that it fits with this. So the idea I have is I'd like to have this look like we're watching one of the Star Wars movies and the image is going across the screen and getting closer to your point of view. So it appears that it's coming at you. I'm just going to move this guy to the left-hand side of the screen. And so what we need to do is we need to add uh, a motion path, first of all. And you can get all of your effects now in Adobe Captivate 9 on the timing tab. They used to be uh, a very different uh, location, but of course now, since effects typically happen over a period of time, this is where you're going to find them. Now, this particular slide is going to be on, on screen for about five seconds. So I want the TIE Fighter, first of all, to appear for the duration of that slide. So rest of slide. And uh, we need to add our first effect. Now, our first effect is going to be that motion path. So I want him, him. I want the spaceship to appear as if it's coming from somewhere over in the upper right hand corner. So what we want to do is have an entrance and we're going to choose, uh, let's say, fly in from right, fly in from top right. No, let's go fly in from right uh, because I'm going to modify that. I'm going to just have him come in. And I'm looking at the angle of the spacecraft here, and I'm thinking somewhere over here looks good. That looks right. Now, that's fine. Let's just preview this and see how that looks. Well, that works, but you can see it's kind of flat, right? Um, also, too, the, the, I wanted to make sure that the... Uh, the effect lasts as long as the slide itself. So something to keep in mind is that um, by default, your effects now appear on the timeline, unlike previous versions of Captivate. And you can reveal those by just clicking on this little reveal arrow here. And you can see there's the fly-in effect there. And you can actually adjust it right on the timeline or you can ensure the duration is much more accurately set over in the, the timing panel itself. So I'm going to set that for 10, sorry, for 5 seconds, because that's how long my slide will appear on screen. Let's try that. 
So that looks kind of cool. But as I said, it looks a little flat, right? Because we're, we're not seeing the three dimension as if it's coming towards us. So I'm going to add in another effect. And the key thing with adding additional effects is this little plus icon that's uh, next to the applied effects drop down list here. So I'm going to add a new effect. And we're going to choose, uh, let's see here, we're going to choose entrance again. But this time we're going to choose not asymmetric zoom. Um, we're just going to choose in, um, let's say, a regular zoom in. I think that should work pretty good. Now, again, a couple things we want to do. You'll notice the zoom in effect only lasts for uh, two seconds. We need it to last the duration of this slide. So we'll put it at five seconds. And... Um, we can make it very dramatic and have it start off at, say, 20% and go to 100%. That should work nicely. So let's just preview this. And in fact, this time we'll do a full screen preview to see what that looks like. So let's just do this whole project here. Wow, that is very cool so i think you can see that you can actually you know some people might say that the effects panel is limited because i can't do all kinds of crazy things but the beauty of the effects panel is it's only limited to your imagination because you can combine every single effect with every single other motion path and put two three four five i don't know what the limit is you can ask adobe but uh I imagine you could probably get a whole bunch of things happening in there. Um, I think this is really the, the best that the effects panel has ever been. And I'm a huge fan of Adobe Captivate 9 for almost exclusively this reason here. You could literally make your own Star Wars movie. That's how cool it is. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was ultra cool, Go ahead and give me a thumbs up.